you spoiling another catch. Need to stock up on these. There you are, Talia. Ah, and we shouldn't have any problems finding what we need. But if time is of the essence, perhaps we should split up. All right. What should I look for? Let's see now. Why don't you take the garlic and the peppy? Meet me by the gate when you've got... Don't tell me you've forgotten what you're looking for already. Garlic and peppy. What do you want? Ain't. Good riddance. There's talk that the glass gate. How the hell is anyone supposed to afford that price? You haven't much, but you're free to look. Good day. That should do it. Hopefully, Ty is finished too. Well, did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and pepio nuts. Job done. We should get this back to Tomes then. He'll be waiting. Boss, we're not in too much of a rush, are we? Quick chat. Do you know, I think this is the very first time we've been out on an errand together. <laughs> I think you might be right. In all the years since you and that scowl of yours first appeared, you haven't invited me out once. For shame. Well, it seemed long overdue. And you did say you had some shopping to do. I was hoping to restock my supplies of herbs and liniment, yes. You and Jill alone burned through them like wildfire. No luck, though. My usual supplier's not here, and I refuse to pay the prices these gougers charge. I'll ask Karen when we get back. What is it? Oh, I came here with Sid once. Shopping for supplies, just like today. And just like today, I came away empty-handed. Sid even said he'd speak to Karen for me when we got back. Has it really been five years? I remember it as if it was yesterday. Hold on. Does that mean it's been five years since we met? Feels a lot longer. It does. In a good way, of course. Thank you, Taya. For what? For everything. I just want you to know that all you've done for us, all you still do, it's appreciated. Do you think I'd stick around if I thought it wasn't? But in the spirit of sharing and caring... ...you're appreciated too. By all of us. I think we've tarried long enough. I ought to get these ingredients back to Tomes so he can make up this concoction of his. I'll meet you back at the hideaway, all right? All right. And thanks again. I heard you the first time.
wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obolus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, could you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive. It was good to talk. We should do it again sometime. It appears our work here is almost... A shame. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, followed by a re... Perhaps... Leave it to thank you. Better go and give Mid the good news then. Seen troops in that side every board of us. And how may I assist you today? So what if it's Parliament? Which leaves but one man. <sighs> what is it that you wish to learn? Here you are. Study it well, Clive. Ain't so bad stretching your legs once in a while. Keep doing more walking. Before you ask, the answer's no. You can't daub yourself in moon dew to protect yourself against fire. I had the same idea, even did some tests. And trust me, you failed. When it comes to boyish charm, Oops. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be 
pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it? In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat, a coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! When I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> Finished! It's finally finished! Thank fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry? Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four Mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> Don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain.
told me she was building a ship. Really? That's a ship? Let's sail it round the lake. Is that you done then? It's not for up to into building the rest. Of the board, has she? Fancy a look at the list, do you? It was luck and luck. But now, thank you. It was luck and luck alone. But now, thank you. Anything catch your eye? Seen enough? Sid, reckon you might be just the man to help me out of a bit of bother. If you were mine to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit it is. Bung the solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. Imagine Ty could get some use out of this alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. Proper ju- So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So? I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get older some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hunt board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand... All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? tried to find a supplier for this stuff, but it's rare as Chocobo's teeth. Either someone brings down a bomb king and picks up the ash, or... Think Mid might need some help. Setting up that workshop.
Ready, go. Fly Ambrosia. Do go. Here. Greetings, Your Majesty. 